after trans catheter adds to edge repair for mitral valve tear for tricuspid valve is catching up data from the united states of america has been published in may 2022 they queried the nationwide readmissions database and identified 918 hospitalizations for tear of tricuspid valve from 2016 to 2019 there was a rise from 13 cases in the first quarter of 2016 to 122 cases in the last quarter of 2019 concomitant tear of mitral valve was performed in 42.1% of the admissions overall in hospital mortality was 2.1% and surgical tricuspid valve replacement was needed in 1.1% of admissions none of them died during the index hospitalization 30 day unplanned rehospitalization was 15.7% 38.2% of these rehospitalizations were due to heart failure there was no difference in in hospital mortality between isolated tear of tricuspid valve and combined mitral and tricuspid valve tear however the length of hospital stay and urgent readmission rate was lower in those who received the combined procedure a single center study in 2020 had reported on combined mitral and tricuspid valve tear they had 22 cases performed with mean procedure time of 176 minutes and mean fluoroscopy time of 65 minutes Mean procedure time was 223 minutes in the first tertile versus 143 minutes in the third tertile indicating a learning curve. Median number of total clips placed per case was 3. In 15 patients, anterior and septal leaflets of the tricuspid valve were clipped. There was significant trend towards decreasing residual tricuspid regurgitation over the course of the series. 30 day survival in this series was 100% and mean nyha class decreased from 2.8 to 1.8 at the time of the study from 2017 to 2019 tear of tricuspid valve was an off label use and this was a retrospective review a comparison of tricuspid and mitral versus mitral valve tear from the tri valve and trami registries was also published in 2020 in trami registry 106 patients underwent isolated tear of mitral valve the 122 patients in tri valve registry underwent concurrent tear of tricuspid valve in compassionate and or off label use 93.9% patients were in new york heart association functional class 3 or 4 Patients in the tier of mitral valve group had more severe left ventricular dysfunction while more of those in the combined group had more of reduced glomerular filtration rate on multivariate analysis combined procedure was associated with a two fold lower mortality rate at one year so there is a case for combined procedure and need for a randomized trial to confirm this aspect rate of patients in nyha functional class 2 or less at one year was similar in both groups all these studies address the observation that residual tricuspid regurgitation is a predictor of adverse outcome after tear of mitral valve another study published in 2018 with 61 patients of which 27 had combined procedure also came to similar conclusions as the other studies discussed effective regurgitant orifice area of tricuspid regurgitation was reduced from 0.51 square centimeter to 0.29 square centimeter after concomitant tear of tricuspid valve while it was unchanged after tear of the mitral valve alone after up to 18 months of follow up patients with combined procedure had fewer hospitalizations for heart failure death rates were comparable between the groups in that study they also documented superior improvement in nyha functional class nt pro bnp levels and 6 minute walking distance for the combined procedure triluminate trial had 85 patients 
and was published in 2021. At one year, tricuspid regurgitation was reduced to moderate or less in 71% compared to 8% at baseline. There was significant improvement in NYHA functional class and reverse right ventricular remodeling as well. Based investigators reported tricuspid tear in a total of 235 high-risk patients in 2022. Mean Society of Thoracic Surgeons predicted risk of mortality score was 8.6%. Tricuspid regurgitation was functional in 87% and severe or higher in 91%. Procedural success was 78% and tricuspid regurgitation was reduced to moderate or less in 78% of patients and was sustained at a median follow-up of 173 days. 63% were in NYHA functional class 1 or 2 at follow-up. First set of journal references. Second set of references. Third set of references. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video. Kindly press the bell icon after that for getting all updates.